A 13-year-old boy from Sussex who is deaf is calling for more funding and access to treatment. Sam Callahan and his family regularly would travel to Oxford to receive speech therapy and listening therapy. Uh, he's part of a group who've visited MPs in Westminster asking for more local services. Tom Savidis takes up the story. Every morning, Sam Callahan gets ready for school, ensuring his cochlear implants are in place. For many years, he and his family had to travel regularly from their home on the Sussex coast to a therapy centre in Oxford to get specialist treatment. So Sam is calling for more local services for children and young people with hearing loss. So, for example, like us, we had to travel a long way to get it done. So for some people who may not be able to travel like that, they wouldn't be able to get that access. So we want to make sure there are more people who can get access. He had uh, cochlear implants at the age of one. And, and even with cochlear implants, everybody felt, oh, he's, he should be progressing a bit more by now. It just took him a very long time to, to speak. And so we just reached out everywhere. <laughs> Okay, well done. And who's next? Mm. Sam, who was born profoundly deaf, has spent years attending specialist face-to-face -face therapy sessions with the help of technology. They have allowed him to improve his listening and speech skills. And last Francis. And last Francis. Last Francis. Oh, thank you, thank you. But this type of treatment isn't widely available. So the charity Auditory Verbal UK organised a trip to Westminster to meet MPs for the Hear Us Now campaign. It calls on the government to provide more funding and access to specialist services for babies and children with severe hearing loss. Early and effective support is absolutely vital for deaf children in the critical first few years of their lives. And that support's vital whether or not families wish to use spoken language, sign language, both. Sam is now able to communicate fully with his family and school friends, one day hoping he will reach for the stars with a career in astrophysics. Tom Savidas, ITV News. And NHS England told us it's committed to improving audiology services to ensure that all children with hearing loss have the opportunity to unlock their potential.